Yo, what is going on everybody? It's the hands for game. I hope you have a fantastic day. Welcome back to another Madden video. In this video, I'm going to give you guys probably five plus really good coin making methods you guys should be doing right now. But please do subscribe and press the bell next to the subscribe button. So that way you guys get notified whenever I upload. Because I do upload a coin making method video every single day. Also, please do like and comment because it does help me get discovered more on YouTube. Also, I am currently giving away 99 overall Lawrence Taylor just to say thank you guys for the support and whenever I reach 1400 subs I will be giving him away and right now there's no way to enter the giveaway because I can only put him on the trade block for four days so I doubt we'll be able to reach 1400 subs in four days as we get closer to 1400 subs I will be putting him on the trade block when I'm confident that we'll reach 1400 subs in four days so thank you guys so much for the support. Also, shout out to Lost YouTube for being part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shouted out, all you guys have to do is subscribe and press the bell so that way you guys get notified whenever I upload and comment Noti Gang within the first two minutes of a new upload and you guys also have to like that video and I'll pick somebody random to shout out that does all of that. So shout out to Lost YouTube for being part of the Noti Gang. So the first method will consist of three different sets. So the first set is Ultimate Legend, NFL Playoffs, and Team of the Week. So you guys can do any of the three sets. So pretty much what you guys want to do with this method is you guys want to find a decently expensive player up on the auction house. See how much it costs to do a set. And if it's set costs cheaper than what he's going for, then you guys can make a profit. So for example, let's say you guys see that Marshawn Lynch is going for 90,000 coins up on the auction house. Minus tax is 80,000 coins. So you guys always want to make sure you guys put in tax. So he's really only going for 80,000 coins. Then you guys add up all the set pieces to a set. So you guys add up all these six set pieces and it adds up to 60,000 coins. So if you guys do the set for 60,000 coins and then sell Marshawn Lynch for 80,000 coins, that's an easy 20,000 coin profit. So you guys can do that with NFL playoffs, with Ultimate Legends, and Team of the Week. So for example, I'm going to be doing one of these NFL playoff sets. So usually I like to do one that goes for over 70 to 75,000 coins. So my favorite ones to do are either the Eagles, the Ravens, the Seahawks, or the 49ers. So it looks like the Eagles aren't doing very good. The Seahawks aren't doing very good either. 49ers are doing okay. And looks like the Ravens are doing the best. So we're going to be doing the Ravens set 84,000 coins. And then you guys want to make sure they're going for that price. So yes. Ravens are definitely going for 84,000 coins. And then you guys want to see how much it costs to do Ronnie Stanley set. Alright, so now you guys want to add up all the set pieces to the Ronnie Stanley set. So Matthew Judon goes for about 16,000 coins. Marquise Brown goes for about 14,000 coins. So that's about 30,000 coins right there. Patrick, whatever his last name is, is about 6,000 coins. So that's about 36,000 coins. Willie Sneed is going about 6,000 coins. So that's about 42,000 coins. Chuck Clark is going for about 16,000 coins, so that's about 58,000 coins. And Bradley Boozman goes for about 1,700 coins, so that's about 60,000 coins. So we can do this set for about 60,000 coins, and he's going for about 84,000 coins. Minus tax is about 75,000 coins, so that's about a 15,000 coin profit, which isn't bad. Usually you guys can get, get anywhere between 10 to probably 50,000 coin profit, but pretty much that's how you guys do this method. You guys find a decently expensive player up on the auction house, see how much uh, his set costs, and if it's set costs cheaper than what he's going for, then you guys should be able to make a profit. And you guys can do that with NFL playoffs, Ultimate Legends, and Team of the Week. If I had to rank these three, I would say probably NFL playoffs is number one, Ultimate Legends is number two, and Team of the Week is number three, but that is the first method. So the second method we'll be talking about is this 87 plus free agency player pack and as you guys know this pack actually expired for a long time and there was a coin making method you guys could do or a reroll method you guys could do with this pack before it expired and now it's back and I'm pretty sure it still works today. So you guys can buy these packs about 3900 training so I recommend you guys do this reroll method with at least 200,000 training and there's something you guys have to do with each specific overall. It's actually pretty simple so I'm going to show you guys what to do with each overall. Well, first thing you guys want to do is you guys want to buy really cheap training. So this is my favorite filter to buy the cheapest training theme builder twos and 96 to 97. And you guys can filter down by all offense and filter down by all defense. So it looks like these 97 overalls have gone up in price because a lot of people is doing this free wall method. So this method will probably work very well whenever Friday comes because on Friday you guys can get training for very cheap. So Friday is probably going to be the best time to do, do this and then don't sell any of the players you guys pull on Friday until probably Tuesday or Wednesday. Right now 
now. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's still good to do right now. But if you guys want to make maximum profit, I recommend you guys wait till Friday. So pretty much you guys just want to buy four of these players at least, maybe if not more. And then once you guys buy four of these players, then you guys can start opening up the 87 plus free agency player pack. So it will cost you at an average about 120,000 coins to buy the 97 or to buy four 97 overalls. So I recommend you guys buy, like I said, at least four 97 overalls for around 30,000 coins. So when you guys open up these packs, you guys can get an 87, an 88, an 89, a 90, a 92, a 94, or a 96 overall. So I'm going to show you guys what to do with each overall you guys pull. So with your 87 and 88 overalls, not your 89 overalls, just your 87 and 88 overalls, you guys want to put them into this set right here. You guys need three 87 and 88 overalls in order to complete this set. So you guys don't want to put all of your 87 to 88 overalls. You guys probably want to save at least 20 to 25 87 and 88 overalls just in case, and I'll show you guys why later. So put a lot of your 87 and 88 overalls, but not all of them into this set. So that's what you guys want to do with your 87 to 88 overalls. So with your 89 overalls, there are actually a few things you guys can do with your 89 overalls. If you guys just want to play it safe, then I recommend you guys just sell them up on the auction house. That's the safest move. If you guys don't want to risk anything, then just sell them up on the auction house for about five to 6,000 coins a piece. Otherwise, if you, gotta, if you guys want to risk a little bit, but not too much, you guys can do this Mutt Hero set. So this set, you guys need 289 overall. So that's about 10 to 12,000 coins in value. And you guys can pull anybody that goes for 7,000 coins to 50,000 coins. So you guys could lose 5,000 coins in profit or you guys gain like upwards of 30 to 40,000 coins in profit. So I do recommend you guys do this 90 to 91 overall Monty Hero set instead of selling your 89 overalls because you guys can pull a lot of good players inside that set that can gain you guys a lot of coins. But once again, you guys can lose uh, coins in that set. So do it at your own risk. Now I risk your ways by doing the 91 to 92 exchange set. So this 91 to 92 overall loot exchange set is the most expensive thing you guys can do with your 89 overalls. So it requires 389 overalls to complete that set. So that's about 18,000 coins in value. And you guys can pull anybody between 9,000 coins to 200,000 coins. So you guys could lose 9,000 coins in value or you guys could gain upwards of 200,000 coins in value. So I actually recommend you guys do it this set because this set you guys can gain a lot of good players from this set. But you guys can also get unlucky. So you guys can do whatever you want. Safest way is by just selling them up on the auction house. Second safest way is by doing the Mud Heroes. And third safest way is by doing the 91 to 92 overall Elite Exchange set. So to know what to do with your 90 overalls, first thing you guys want to do is you guys want to find the most expensive 98 overall master. So it looks like it's Joe Tooney. So Joe Tooney is going for about 83,000 coins minus tax. It's about 75,000 coins. So as you guys see, Joe Tooney just sold for about 75,000 coins. So now that we know Joe Tooney is the most expensive master, that will help us decide what to do with our 90 overalls. So once you guys have found out whichever master is the most expensive, then you guys want to do the weak heroes in whichever week he's in. So since Joe Tooney is the most expensive master, we want to do the week one heroes. Since Joe Tooney is in week one, we want to do these week one free agency heroes. Doesn't matter which one we do. So we're just going to do Lamar Miller. So to do these hero sets, you guys need 398 overalls and 487 to 89 overalls. And I only recommend you guys put your 87 to 88 overalls into this set. So this is why I said you guys want to save at least 20 to 25, 87 to 88 overalls because you guys will need them to complete these hero sets now you guys need 390 to 94 overalls you guys won't get that many 90 to 94 overalls while you guys are doing the reroll method so that's why you guys want to put your 87 to 88 overalls in here because then if you guys put them into this set right here you guys will get more 90 overalls to put into the hero set if you have any questions be sure to comment down in the comment section below i'm trying to explain it the best i can and you guys want to quick sell any 92 or 94 overall you guys get so the goal of this method is to complete as many hero sets as you guys can so that way you guys can complete these master sets. To do these master sets you guys need 3 heroes of whichever week that is so that's why it's important to find out which master is the most expensive and which week he's in. So since this is Joe Tooney, Joe Tooney is in week 1 so he can only get week 1 free agency heroes so I would not be able to put in a week 2 free agency heroes. So you guys can put in 3 of whichever week hero that master is in so I can put in 2 Lamar Millers and a Philip Rivers or I can put in 3 Lamar Millers you guys did it. it can be any 
any combination you guys want. And once you guys complete this set, you guys will get Joe Tooney, his power up item, and two week one heroes back as Nats. So you guys want to sell the master and his power up, and you guys want to quick sell the two heroes that come as Nats. So that's what you guys want to do once you guys finish this set. And then the coins you guys get, you guys can do with whatever like you guys can buy training with the coins you guys get once you guys sell the masters, or you guys can just keep it to buy another player. But that's pretty much how you guys do this method. You guys want to try to finish as many hero sets as you guys can so that way you guys can complete these master sets and you guys can get 90 overalls by doing the random 90 to 94 overall free agency player sets. So to complete one of the hero sets you guys need 390 overalls and 487 overalls and to get a 90 overall you guys need 387 to 88 overalls. So you guys would need about 13 87 to 88 overalls to get one of these hero sets which definitely isn't that bad at all but that's pretty much how you guys do this method if you have any questions be sure to comment down in the comment section below i try to explain it the best i can i don't really want to do this method because i i don't really have the time to do this method it is kind of time consuming that's the only problem with this method so i try to explain it the best i can but if you have any questions be sure to comment down in the comment section below so the third method we talk about is Theme Diamond 2 Set Piece Pack. Now this is one of my favorite packs in the game because it's so profitable and it's one of the best ways to convert training into coins. Now this is a pack so there is some risk to it but 90% of the time you guys will make profit. So first thing you guys want to do is you guys obviously want to buy training. So training has definitely gotten up a little bit in price because a lot of people are trying to do the free agency reroll method. But you guys want to find these for around 30,000 coins. So this would be a pretty good sniper right here, 30,850 coins. So just filter down to all offense and all defense and go on to 96.97 theme builder too. So 29,000 coins, great sniper. You guys want to find these for 30,000 coins or less. So this method would be great on Friday. So I actually recommend if you guys want to make maximum profit, just wait until Friday to do this method and then just sell your players on Tuesday or Wednesday. You guys can make maximum profit then. Right now it's still profitable but it's not as profitable because these 97 overalls have gone up in price so I recommend you guys do this method with probably at least 100,000 to 200,000 training. So now let me show you guys with let me show you guys what to do with each overall you guys can you guys pull from the pack like I said you guys can pull anywhere between an 80 to a 92 overall player. So with your 80 to 84 overall, some people recommend you guys put them into this set right here, but I actually recommend you guys just sell them up on the auction house. Yes, it can take a while to sell all of them up on the auction house, but you guys will be making maximum profit if you guys just sell your 80 to 84 overalls up on the auction house instead of putting them into the NFL draft pick set because you guys will be losing about two to 3,000 coins every time you guys put them into this set right here because 80 to 84 overalls have actually gone up a little in price because a lot of people are doing sets that require 80 to 84 overalls. So I recommend you guys just sell your 80 to 84 balls up on the auction house. Otherwise, if you guys want to get rid of them faster, like if you guys don't have the time to sell them, then yes, I do recommend you guys put them into the draft pick set or you guys can put them into the Super Bowl pass. Set. Now, if you guys do decide to put uh, your 80 to 84 balls into this set, I recommend you guys pick David DeCastro. It lets you choose uh, 11 different 86 overalls and I recommend you guys choose David DeCastro. He's selling for about two to 3,000 coins. Otherwise, you guys could put your 82 86 overalls into this Super Bowl set right here once I find it right here Super Bowl present and then 83 plus Super Bowl you guys need an 80 to 82 83 to 84 and 85 to 86 so you guys can also do this set right here so I would actually recommend you guys do this set over the NFL draft pick set because it's an 83 plus so you guys could get lucky with this set like I said if you guys want to play it safe you guys just want to sell them up on the auction house but if you guys don't have the time to then I recommend you guys just put your 80 to 86 overalls into that that set right there. So with your 87 or 88 overalls, you guys want to check to see how much they go for first before you guys do anything with them. And if your 87 or 88 overall goes for over 5,000 coins, then I recommend you guys just sell them on the auction house. Now if your 87 or 88 overall goes for below 5,000 coins, I recommend you guys put them into this 89 to 90 overall elite exchange set because you guys can pull some really expensive players from this set. You guys can pull like very expensive 90 overalls and the legend, like some ultimate legends go for like 20 to 30,000 coins and 387 overalls cost about 6,000 coins so you guys can either sell them up on the auction house for 6,000 coins or you guys have a chance to make 30,000 coins so this is a little bit risky if you guys just want to sell them up on the auction house to play it safe I completely understand but I actually do recommend you guys do it this way because if you guys pull like a very expensive ultimate legend like Lawrence Taylor, Rob Gronkowski there's a lot of good ultimate legends you guys can pull that can get you guys 20,000 plus coins so that's what I recommend you guys do with your 87 to 88 overalls check to see if they go for over 5,000 coins if they don't put them into the 89 to 90 overall elite exchange set 
So with your 89 overalls, there are a few things you guys can do with them. So you guys can one, sell them on the auction house. And I do recommend you guys sell your 89 overalls on the auction house if they go over 9,000 coins. If you check to see how much your 89 overall goes for and it's over 9,000 coins, then just sell them up on the auction house. But if they go for below 9,000 coins, there's two things you guys can do with them. One is by putting them into the 90 to 91 overall hero set. You guys need two 89 overalls in order to complete this set. And you guys can pull anywhere between, uh, I'm pretty sure, 6,000 to 50,000 coins worth of cards so 289 overalls are usually about 12 to 15,000 so if you guys pull the worst player you guys are losing about 7,000 to 8,000 coins in value so I do understand if you guys don't want to risk you know losing 7 to 8,000 coins in value and you guys just want to sell your 89 overalls for 7 to 8,000 coins otherwise you guys can put them into the 91 to 92 overall league exchange set which is even more risky than the 90 to 91 but you guys can pull a lot better players so you guys will put in 389 overalls in order to complete this set so that's why it's more risky because it's 389 overalls instead of 289 overalls so like I said, 389 overalls is about a value of 18 to 24,000 coins. And you guys can pull anywhere between 10 to 190,000 coins worth of cards or 10 to 200,000 coins worth of cards. I don't know why I said 190,000. You guys can pull anywhere between 10 to 200,000 coins worth of cards and it costs about 18,000 to 24,000 coins in value. So if you guys want to play it risky, you guys can, you know, just open up this 91 to 92 overall loot exchange set, which is, I actually recommend you guys do that. Yes, it is risky but if you guys get lucky and pull like a Jadavion Clowney power up or a Randy Moss power up or a Joe Tooney you guys can make about a hundred to two hundred thousand coins if you guys want to play a little bit more safe but you guys want to play a little bit risky you guys can do the 90 to 91 this is a little bit risky and also a little bit safe so this is the safe route and if you guys want to play it completely safe you guys can just sell them up on the auction house so with your 90 overalls, it's not really a specific set to do with your 90 overalls, so I recommend you guys can just do whatever you want with your 90 overalls. You guys can either sell them up on the auction house or quick sell them, your choice. It's not really a design set for the 90 overalls to go into to make profit. You guys, put, you guys could put the 90 overalls into the 91 to 92 overall elite change set and hope that you guys pull something good or you guys can put them into the much hero set, but I recommend you guys just sell them up on the auction house or quick sell them for training. So once again with your 91 overall, there are a few things you guys can do with your 91 overalls and if they go for over 10,000 coins, I recommend you guys just sell them up on the auction house but if they don't go for over 10,000 coins, then there are two things you guys can do with them. So the first thing you guys can do with your 91 overalls is by putting them into this 92 to 94 overall zero chill player set. You guys need three 91 overalls in order to complete this set and you guys will get a 92 to 94 overall zero chill player in return. So three 91 overalls are about 21,000 coins in value and you guys can pull anywhere between 15 to 40,000 coins in value. So once again, if you guys don't feel like risking 6,000 coins in value, then you guys can just sell your 91 overall players up on the auction house. But you guys could make 15,000 coins in value if you guys wanted to depending on how much your 91 overalls go for like i said if they go for over 10,000 coins just sell them up on the auction house but if they go for less than 10,000 coins i recommend you guys put them into this 92 to 94 overall zero chill player set or you guys can put them into this set right here so you guys need once again 391 overalls to complete the set and you guys will get a 93 to 94 so it's about once again 21 to 25,000 coins in value and you guys can pull anywhere between 10,000 to 200,000 coins back so it's your decision once again if you guys want to risk 15,000 coins in value do have a chance of pulling 100,000 plus coin profit so if you guys want to play it very safe you guys can just sell your sell your 91 overalls and if you guys want to play it kind of safe but also kind of risky you guys can put them into the 92 to 94 overalls who are chill player now if you guys want to play completely risky you guys can put them into the 93 to 94 overall loop train set that's what you guys want to do with your 91 overalls and with your 92 overalls you guys either just want to auction them or quick sell them once again there's not really a design set for your 92 overall to go into you guys could put them into a set that a 91 overall goes into or you guys could just sell them up on the auction house or quick sell them i recommend you guys just sell them all up on the auction house but that's what you guys want to do with each overall you guys pull from the theme diamond like i said you guys can pull anywhere between 80 to 192 overall player but that is method number three so the fourth method is this 95 overall goes to man pass player and there's two ways you guys can complete this set one is by buying the 93 overalls and two is by doing another set in order to complete this set so what we're going to do with the first way and we're going to buy the 93 overalls first and then i'm going to show you guys how to do it the second way so it costs around 30 to 35,000 coins if you guys want to buy the 93 overalls in order to complete that set. So it is pretty risky if you guys do decide to buy the 93 overalls because if you guys pull Mo Blount or Bo Jackson, you guys are losing about 15,000 coins. 
And if you guys pull Michael Shahan, you guys are about breaking even. If you guys pull Kevin Moore, you guys make about 5 to 10k worth of profit. If you guys pull Marvin Harrison, 20 to 25k worth of profit. Same thing with John Randall. So there's a few good players you guys can pull. There's only two players that will give you guys profit, one player that will break you even, and three players that will gain you guys profit. So now I'm going to show you guys how to snipe the 93 overalls. You guys usually want to snipe these 93 overalls for around 10 to 11,000 coins. And I don't recommend you guys buy the 93 overalls in order to complete that set. Just because you guys could lose 15,000 coins. So buying the 93 overalls in order to complete that set is pretty risky. So I don't recommend you guys could you guys do it. But if you guys want to do it, I'm going to show you guys how to snipe the 93 overalls in order to complete it. So Legends is a very good filter to get these 93 overalls on. So 93 Von Miller, great snipe, 10,000 coins. That's around the range you guys want to snipe these 93 overalls on and like i said if you guys want to do this set you guys can there's only two players you guys can pull that will lose you guys profit and there are four players you guys can pull that will gain you guys profit so it's definitely not that bad but there we go we got one of our 93 overalls and nfl draft picks is another one of my favorite filters to snipe these 93 overalls on so we'll go to nfl draft picks all right so 13,000 points definitely not the best let's try series redux and see if we can find any good 93 overalls in the series redux category and no we can't let's try flashbacks and see if we can find any good flashbacks so 92 overalls on duh you know you know what i forgot to do i forgot to filter down so we can filter down to all offense and all defense to find the 93 overalls for even cheaper so all offense let's see can we find any good 93 overalls and no we cannot so now let's go to all defense and see if we can find any good 93 overalls and 93 brain scarlet for 10,600 coins pretty good snap right there if you guys can find these for under 11,000 coins then you guys definitely want to try to buy them so then you guys want to put them into the 95 before it goes to my past player set and then we just need one more 93 overall in order to complete this set so let's try theme builder 2 and 10,000 coins if i can get over to it before it expires and there we go we just finished set for about 30,000 coins hopefully we don't put mo blanc or bo jackson and there we go. Let's see who we pull. Hopefully, Mo not Mill Blount or Bo Jackson. Hopefully, we can pull Marvin Harrison or John Randall. We pull John Randall. Let's freaking go, boys. We definitely made profit there. We made about twenty to 25,000 coin profit, I think. So, buying the 93 of us is definitely a little bit risky, but you guys can definitely make a lot of coins, too. So, we made about 25,000 coin profit. I'm pretty sure we spent about 30,000 coins. And we got back about 60k minus tax is about 55k so yeah we made back about 25,000 coins in profit so that is definitely a w right there but that's how you guys do with the first way you guys can buy the 92 overalls in order to complete that set so now let me show you guys the second way to do that method so the second way to do that method is by doing this Nick Bosa set. Now this way doesn't always work, so I'm going to show you guys how to calculate if this way works or not. So this is a method you guys want to check up on every once in a while. So to calculate if this works or not, first you guys want to calculate how much it costs to do the whole set. So Josh Jacobs goes for about 16,000 coins. Elton Jenkins goes for about... 53. Okay, well, I don't think this method is working because Elton Jenkins usually does not go for 53,000 coins. That's 69,000 coins plus 12,000 coins is 81,000 coins. And then you guys want to calculate how much Nick Bosa goes for. So Nick Bosa goes for about 45,000 coins. So you guys want to calculate the difference between how much Nick Bosa goes for and how much the set costs. So the set costs 80,000 coins. Nick Bosa goes for 45,000 coins. That's a 35,000 coin difference. Now the difference is how is how many coins you're paying for the Ghost Man Pass player. So since the difference is 35,000 coins, I'm paying 35,000 coins to open this. So I do not recommend you guys do it if the difference is ever above 25,000 coins. So since the difference is 35,000 coins, that means that this method does not work. So if the difference goes below 25,000 coins, then I recommend you guys do this method. So if the difference does go below 25,000 coins, then you guys want to do this. You guys want to buy all the three set pieces to complete the set and then once you guys complete the set you guys should get a nick bosa pack and then inside that nick bosa pack you guys should get nick bosa his power up item and all these three players you guys put in back as nats so with the nat players you guys want to add them into the 95 overall ghost of man pass player and then you guys want to sell nick bosa and his power up and whoever you guys pull in the ghost of man pass player so that's how you guys do this method if the difference ever goes below 25,000 coins but that's how you guys do it the method but the ways that's method number four so the fifth method we'll be talking about is this alternate offensive playbooks fantasy pack and it's a very good method for those of you who don't have a lot of coins and it's also the best way to convert training into coins and it's one of the most popular methods in the game so pretty much you're paying 150 training then once you guys pay for the pack 
then you guys open up the pack and you guys just choose the first playbook it doesn't matter which playbook you guys choose and then you guys just quick sell it for 500 coins so you're pretty much paying 150 training for 500 coins so right now training is very cheap so i'm going to show you guys how to buy very cheap training if you guys don't have that many coins so if you guys don't have that many coins, I recommend you guys just buy one of these 87 overalls for about 2,000 coins. So we'll just buy this 87 overall Andrew Luck for about 2,000 coins and then you guys want to quick sell it. Now if you guys have a lot more coins to spend and you guys want to do this method, then I recommend you guys buy one of these 95 overall theme builder 2s. So if you guys have more coins you guys can spend, then I recommend you guys buy one of these 95 overalls in order to open up those packs with. So once you guys buy your training, then you guys want to open up the alternate offensive playbook fantasy pack for about 150 training. And you guys will get about 300 coins every time you guys open it. So since we bought that 87 overall for about 2,000 coins, every time we open it and then quick sell it, we're making about 300 coins. You guys can do this about 5 times every minute if you guys do it really fast. So you guys can make about 1,500 coins a minute by doing this method. So this is one of the most popular methods and one of the best methods for those of you who don't have that many coins. So the sixth method we'll be talking about is this 85 plus overall theme builder player and I recommend you guys do this method with 100 to 150,000 training. So it's one of the more expensive methods. So usually I just buy two or three 97 overalls and then I open those packs up with that training. So this method is actually very simple. So I'm going to show you guys how to snipe the 97 overalls. So you guys want to find these 97 overalls for around 30,000 coins or less. So these are the filters you guys want to have on program theme builder 2's quality 9697 and type all offense and just switch back forth from all offense to all defense until you guys find these for about 30,000 coins or less. So usually I like to buy two or three of these 97 overalls and then open those packs and this method is actually very simple and this method will actually work pretty great on Friday because on Friday is usually when the market crashes so training is usually at an all time low. So if you guys do this method on Friday and then wait till Tuesday or Wednesday to sell your players then you guys can make a lot of profit. So that's what I actually recommend you guys do. Right now this method is still working pretty good, but on Friday this method will work even better, especially if you guys wait till Tuesday, Wednesday. So like I said, just keep filtering from all offense and all defense until you guys can find these for about 30,000 coins. And then once you guys get your, uh, you know, 397 overall players or your 297 overall players, you guys want to open up these packs and you guys want to sell whoever you guys pull. So just sell up on the auction house whoever you guys pull besides your 85 overalls. The only players you guys don't want to sell are your 85 overalls. And the only way you guys aren't going to make profit is if you guys don't pull a single 90 overall. Literally that's the only time I haven't made profit and I only lose like five to 10,000 coins. So this is a very low risk, high reward coin making method. Cause if you guys get lucky and pull like a 97 overall, you guys are making a lot of profit. And if you guys get very unlucky, like probably you guys will only have a 5% chance to lose profit. So that's pretty good. And if you guys do lose profit, you guys will only lose five to 10,000 coins. So like I said, sell everybody but your 85 overalls. With your 85 overalls, you guys will want to put them into the, what am I doing? Into the exchange set right here. So you guys need seven 85s to 87s in order to complete this set. So only put your 85 overalls into this set. So that's what you guys want to do with every player you guys pull. Just put your 85 overall players into this set. If you guys want to play it safe and not risk anything, you guys can just sell your 85 overalls on the auction house too. But if you guys want to play a little bit risky, you guys can put your 85 overalls into the 90 to 95 overall theme builder 2 exchange set. So it's your choice, but that is method number 6. So method number 7 is another great method for those of you who don't have that many coins. You guys need a 7,009 and a 70 to 74 in order to complete this set. So you guys can usually complete this set for around 1,000 to 1,300 coins and these are the players you guys can pull. So like I said, it only costs 1,000 to 1,300 coins to do that set and you guys can make back about 2,400 coins. So you guys can make about 1,000 coins a minute. So this is one of my favorite methods to do, especially if you guys don't have that many coins. You guys can do this method with as little as 1,500 coins. So that's why this method is amazing. This is definitely one of my favorite methods. So you guys just need to snipe a 7,579 and a 70 to 74 and then you guys finish the set and then sell your player. So usually I like to snipe these 7,579s for around 700 coins or less. So I like to just go by each team. Power-ups do not go into sets by the way. So just go by each team and try to find these for around 700 coins or less. So team bears and then team bangles, team bills, etc. So team bangles, 900 coins. So it looks like these 7 times 79 have actually might have gone up in price. So team bills, yeah, 900. All right. So it doesn't look like we will be able to find these for 700 coins. We might have to settle for like 800 coins. Because it looks like these 7579s have gone up in price because a lot of people are doing these harvest sets. 
So we'll go to Team Brown. So never mind. Let's see if we can find these for around 800 coins. So we'll go to Team Buccaneers. So you know what? 850 definitely not bad. So as long as you guys don't spend over 2,000 coins, you guys should still be able to make profit. So since the market has gone up a little bit on the gold players, I recommend you guys send to 7579 for around 800 to 900 coins because the market has gone up a little bit. So now let's try to snipe the 70 to 74s. So you usually want to snipe these for around 500 coins or less, but I'm guessing they went up too. So yeah, about 650, that's not bad. So we'll see if we can find these for around 500 to 600 coins. So 800 coins for that one. And then just go by each team, like I said. It should only take you guys like a minute or two, depending on how lucky you guys get to complete this set. So team bell. Sometimes you guys will find these players right away, and sometimes it will take you guys a long time. So 650 coins. Uh, usually I like to do these for around 500 to 600 coins. But you know what, we'll just settle for 650 coins. So we just did the set for about 1400 coins and we can sell it for about 2400 coins and make an easy 1000 coin profit in just about a minute. So that's how simple this method is. So bam, we get the pack. And then you guys just want to sell it for about 2600 coins no matter who you guys get. Now you guys always want to check to see how much the harvest players are going for because the harvest market uh, varies a lot. So sometimes they could be going for 2000 coins and sometimes they could be going for 3000 coins. So always check to see how much the harvest players are going for. But that is method number 7. So the 8th and final method is this 90 to 91 overall Mutt Hero set. Now this method isn't as good because the Mutt Heroes have gone down a little bit, but this is still pretty profitable. Worst case scenario, you guys will only lose about 5,000 coins. Best case scenario, you guys will gain about 30 to 50,000 coins in profit. So once again, it's low risk, high reward. So usually you guys can finish the set for around 10,000 coins. So let me show you guys who you guys can pull. And there we go, our Harvest Player sold. So like I said, it costs around 10 to 12,000 coins to finish the set. And even if you guys pull the worst one, which is right now Tyler Boyd, you guys are making about 7,000 coins back in profit, which means you guys are only losing about 5,000 coins. So these are the players that you guys don't want to pull that will lose you guys profit. These are the players that will break you guys even. And these are the players you guys want to pull. So Saquon Barkley would be a good pull. JJ Watt would be a good pull. Kyle Fuller. Uh, David Castro is the best pull you guys, actually no, Jalen Ramsey is the best pull you guys can get right now. So the best pulls you guys can get are David Castro, Jalen Ramsey, uh, Jamal Adams, and Fletcher Cox. So those are the best pulls you guys can get. Like I said, this method has fallen down a little bit, but if you guys pull Jalen Ramsey or David Castro, you guys are making about 20 to 30k worth of profit, and you guys will only lose 5,000 points worst case scenario. So let me show you guys how to snake the 89 overalls to complete this method. So usually you guys want to find these 89 overalls for around five to 6,000 coins. So this Jim Brown going for 5,000 coins, definitely a great snipe. And usually we finish the set for around 10 to 12,000 coins, like I said. So there we go. And worst case scenario, you guys will only lose 5,000 coins. So that's why this method is so good. And 90 to 91 overall hero set. I'm pretty blind right now, so. <laughs> Bludgeons is definitely one of my favorite filters to snipe these 89 overalls on. So now let's try flashbacks and the heavyweights. Those are another good filter. So flashbacks, uh, 4,900 coins definitely isn't bad. So right now it looks like it's, you guys can finish these sets at an average of 10,000 coins. So I actually recommend you guys save up for five of these packs and open them right in a row. Cause I feel like I have better luck if I open these five in a row rather than opening them separately. But for the sake of this video, I'm only gonna open one just because I wanna try to save time. So let's see who we get. Hopefully we get somebody good. And we pull 90 Tyler, wow. Literally, that was the worst pull you guys can get. So we only lost about 5,000 coin profit, which isn't that bad. If you guys get lucky, you guys will make about 20 to 40,000 coins profit. This method has died, but it is still very good. That's how you guys do this method. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please do subscribe, like, comment, and put notifications on for you because I do upload two mine videos, or I upload a coin making method video every single day. I upload mine content, mine tips, and mine coin making methods. So any support wouldn't be a lot because I do put a lot of time into my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm the Hands the Gamer. Love God, Third, Harmony, Social Chains, and to love your neighbors. Yourself. God bless. Watch your hands. Stay home. Stay safe. Peace.